Hello and welcome. In this video, we're trying to find the values of x that balance the equation. And let's just make sense of this first, because this might be even hard to look at. I'm going to just rewrite it over here. I'm going to write it as x. And then this fraction, 2 thirds, that's the exponent we're dealing with. So it's x to the 2 thirds power. And then we're subtracting 4, and that equals 0. So how do we deal with this problem? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is add 4 to both sides. I want to get the x term all by itself. And this is x to the 2 thirds equals 4. Now, let's think about what the 2 thirds power represents. I'm going to kind of write this over here. x to the 2 thirds. Well, that's the same thing as x squared, in parentheses, to the 1 third power. That's also the same thing as um, x to the 1 third power squared. Right? These are equivalent things, and I know that because my laws of exponents tell me that if I have x to the a, b power, that is the same thing as x to the a, close parentheses, to the b power. You multiply these two exponents. And if you look at this case right here, we have 2 times a third, which is 2 thirds, and a third times 2, which is also 2 thirds. I show it both ways because we can think of this as x being squared and then the third power is the third root. So here we're taking x, we're squaring it, and then we're taking the third root of it. Or we, we can take the third root first and then square it. Either way, we should get 4. That's what it's saying. So the way to solve this is to essentially um, do the opposite of whatever power you have. And you can start in either case. So for example, if you want to solve for x squared first, right, the power on top here, the numerator, take the square root of both sides, which is the half power. I'm going to do that first. I'm going to take the square root to undo the 2 in the numerator. So we have x to the 2 thirds power. I want to take the square root of that. I'm going to multiply it, uh, the exponent of 2 thirds by 1 half. And I'm also going to find the half power of 4. So 2 thirds times 1 half is 1 third. Those 2's cancel out. And the square root of 4 could be a positive or a negative 2. Okay, now we want to take, we want to find what number will you take the third root of it and get positive or negative 2. So to figure that out, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to cube both sides. So x to the 1 third, we're going to cube that, raise that to the third power. All right, so you can see that basically we're doing the reciprocal of whatever exponent we have. So instead of a third, it's 3 over 1. Before, instead of 2 thirds, we did 1 half. So instead of 2 over 1, it's just 1 over 2. And here the third uh, power of the third root, 1 third times 3 is 1. And plus or minus 2 cubed could be 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. Or negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, which is negative 8. So here we can finish by saying that x could be equal to positive or negative 8. Now if you want a faster way of dealing with this problem, what you could do is um, you could take the reciprocal of the fractional power right away. So you can take the 3 halves power of both both sides. Now when you do that, that will cancel out our exponent here on the left. 2 thirds times its reciprocal, 3 halves, is just 1. Now when you're dealing with 4 to the 3 halves power, you can do either part first. Um, for example, we take the square root first. Recognize this denominator is just 2, that means square root. That's plus or minus 2. And then raise that to the third power, which is plus or minus 8. Now you could raise it to the third power first, so 4 to the third is 64, and then take the square root of that, which would be positive or negative 8 still. So either way, we still get the, the same answer. All right, I hope this helped.